What is up my good friends, it is your old pal Closet Gamer back again for some more Age of Engineering. I'm down the mines at the moment, uh, done a bit of mining, quite a successful little mining trip uh, down to there. But the reason I've come back is because one, my inventory is very full and two, uh, MC Hammer is completely wrecked. So I'm going to have to use some resources trying to fix him up. Our portal's moved, it's no longer near our nice little, um, little hidey hole down there. Uh, it's moved over here now because we moved it. Uh, to our uh, temple, didn't we? So we're going to pop back home because last episode we got our Empower trophy, but we didn't actually set our Empower up. So we're going to do that today. Uh, we're going to set our Empower up. We're going to test it. Um, and I think I might test it making a, a sturdy machine case, which will actually get us the next stage. Uh, it's not too far off. Um, sturdy machine case is, uh, seems pretty simple. So other news, um, I've been hanging around on uh, and lurking in the shadows of the uh, Feed the Beast forum um, and a young man, or maybe a young woman, uh, called King Triax uh, told me about how to automate uh, some steel production. So what I've done is I've got my compressor here, uh, which is feeding into a drawer, which I've locked. So I made some keys and locked my drawers and also made a quantity key as well. So it's feeding into there, and then I've got two furnaces now um, with uh, push-pull upgrades. So they pull from uh, from this drawer, they pull the compressed air, and they push the spent cells, uh, and they can't put the steel in there, which is what we want, because they kept putting the steel in there, if you remember, uh, which is not good. So it's locked now, so they can't do that. So these essentially are acting as filters for us. And then over here, they both output into this other drawer, which is also locked. They output steel. Uh, so I can put iron in there, and they'll take it in, and they'll turn it into steel and then chuck it back out here, which is pretty great. Yeah, Excellent, isn't it? Quite a nice little compact thing. Um, I've got them holding their heat as well. Um, so I watched a different uh, Let's Play, uh, and there was a bit of a tutorial about that in there. And apparently, if you keep the heat high uh, even when they've not got iron and they'll stay hot uh, and they take a one EU per tick so that's pretty cool power situation we're looking strong we're looking strong for EU for sure and also looking strong for RF as well so we've got 10 million RF in that MB capacitor which is pretty good I've taken the liberty of running some power downstairs so what we're gonna do I'm gonna empty out all this junk got some diamonds as well that's pretty neat and also some draconium dust. I'm not quite sure how rare that is. Uh, but then we're going to grab our display stands and our empower. We are going to then gonna head downstairs to the Bismont and get this bad boy set up. Okay, so I'm going to run through my inventory and then I'll be back. All right, so we're almost done. The more observant uh, amongst you will have noticed that I've sorted my drawers out as well, actually. Kind of taking on a bit of an alphabetical, not strict alphabetical. Aluminium, bronze, cobalt, blah, blah, blah. Um, Bit more alphabetical, a bit more sorted out. Iron and metals and things at the top, uh, and then crystals towards the middle, and then sort of organics over this area, and then kind of just trash building blocks over this way. Uh, so that's pretty good. I mean, I'm quite pleased with that. And then coal stuff over this way as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, a bit more organised, I think. It's better to be organised, isn't it? All right. So let's chuck some of this stuff in here, uh, and we'll get this macerated up. But I know that I'm going to need some black quartz as well. So let me just chuck this black quartz straight in there. So the power situation at the moment uh, is not bad. We're at a net loss when we're running all of our machines. Um, or when we're running just our macerator actually. Uh, but don't forget we're also running these the two heaters underneath there. And we're all probably also running our compressor pretty much all time as well. But no problem, no problem. I think we'll be okay. We've got 40k in there, we've got 259, and it's night time as well, actually. So let's get a quick night's sleep and see what our power situation looks like in the daytime. Okay, so power situation, what say you? Are you gaining or losing? Yeah, pretty much gaining. Cool, okay. So we may want to update this to uh, an MFSU at some point. I'm not quite sure what I need for an MFSU. So that's 4 million EU that goes up to. It's tier 4 though. Do we need tier 4? What's the next one down from an MFSU at Industrial Craft? MFE, power. Tier 3, okay. Right, so what's this? Energy crystals. 
Nagium dust. Diamond dust. Yeah, I'm not in I'm not really in the position to be um to be grinding up diamonds at the moment, so probably not. I think we'll be okay with that. that yeah, we'll be fine. Let's not worry about that too much. At least not for today anyway. Right, okay, so first of all, let me grab a few things to fix up my tools. Some Ardite. Uh, and also some cobalt, probably. Maybe a couple more of these. Um, how's Pick a Destiny doing? It's okay. Probably probably be alright for a little while. So, MC Hammer, in you go. Cobalt, in you go. That, in you go. Oh, cool. Okay. So, we didn't even need the cobalt. That's given us full durability without no problems at all. Okay. Excellent. Right, so without further ado, let's go down and rig up our empower. So I've never used one of these before. Um, I've got my power stuff kind of sorted out. What I'm going to do actually is dig up the floor a little bit because I don't want wires running around all over the place. So first of all actually let's figure out where we're going to put it. I want to put it central. Uh, so let's put the actual empower. Oh, the actual empower there. And then I think they need to go like there. And then there. And then there, and then there, like that. I think that's how it works. I think that's how I saw it working before. So, uh, let me just dig up the floor, and then I'll be back. Right, floor dug out successfully. Um, I say successfully, I've made a bit of a mess down here. Uh, I also went back upstairs because I've forgotten my connectors. Uh, but this should work, um, and we should be able to get the power sorted out down here. So let's put one connector on the bottom of each of these guys. One, two, and then this one. Like this, good, okay, not like that, like that, right, and then uh, they all need to go over to here, so how can, that's the best way to do this, I think it might be obstructed if I try and just go straight like this, yeah, it's obstructed, so I might need to go like directly underneath here, I quite like this, I've got a basement within the basement, got like a double basement going on, one, two, Three and then four. Excellent. And then like this. Like this. And they should be powering up. Yeah, they're starting to power up. Let's patch up the floor. Uh, and then get back upstairs. And figure out what we're actually gonna oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Let me out. Oh, okay, right, we're out patch up the floor and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next oh okay empower all set up ready to go okay so as I said um, what I think we might do I've been looking through the book a little bit and from the empowering age what it allows you to do essentially is to make electronic circuits um, advanced electronic circuits I should say which enable some of the more advanced machines one of the things that did stand out to me uh, when I was looking through this is you can start making a vertical digger. Vertical digger. Uh, do you remember back in episode one I said I really like quarries and someone said, oh, what you need is a digger. And I said, I don't know what that is, I can't find it. Well, I found it, vertical digger. Um, looking at the vertical digger, it doesn't look too bad. There is one thing in there that fills me with dread though. And I'll show you what that is. So none of this stuff is too bad. You know, empowered void crystal block is essentially uh, this stuff. Now this is the thing that I'm a bit unsure about. Necrotic bone. I haven't got any of those and it comes from this guy. Uh, skeleton spawn any. And I've killed loads of these and not got any. So I might have to take a, a trip to the nether uh, and it's a 7% drop rate. Uh, so I'll probably go to the nether at some point because that means I can make that. Uh, this is not too bad. It's just uh, some diamite. Di I can't even pronounce that. How do you pronounce that? Diamatine. 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 Diamatine crystal. Yes. Uh, and a drill core, which is, you know, just that, Nori crystals. So that is actually well within our capabilities of, of doing, I think. Block of redstone. So this takes 12 million RF to make. So we've got 10 million sitting in our thing upstairs, which, you know, didn't really take us much effort to, to get that. 10 million sitting in there. And then these are slowly filling up. 
Those windmills are doing a good job, I think. I might have to make some more because they're, they're doing quite well. Um, but to test this in power and to probably get us into the next age, actually, what we can make pretty much straight away is a sturdy casing. So let's have a quick look at a sturdy casing and then we'll probably make one. Sturdy casing. So bronze large plate and a bronze gear and then these are just bronze item casings and bronze plates. So two item casings, one plate, and then this, and which all that's complicated about that is the steel mechanical component, which is just steel and, and copper. So I think I'll probably make one of those now, real quick. So let's head back upstairs, uh, grab some bits and pieces, uh, and then we'll crack on. So I need four steel, one, two, three, four, and then I need uh, how much bronze do you think I'm going to need? We've got these, I've got that, and I've got that. Uh, and then I'll we just need a bronze gear. So four bronze there, and one copper in the middle. And then this is God knows how many bronze. I think it's like nine ingots, nine ingots, eight ingots. Okay, so twelve bronze in total, if my counting's right. How many is that? Eight. Let's go for fifteen just in case. Uh, I don't trust. My own maths particularly well uh, at this point in time. Right, okay, let's uh, make this guy. One of those, and then make this guy. Nice. Okay, and then we just need to grab these bronze item casings, grab this bronze plate, and then go and have a sleep, and then we will go uh, to, the, to our smeltery, uh, and we'll quickly knock up one of these. Right, bronze plate, nice. Okay, let's have a sleep and then we'll go to the smeltery. Right, so before I go and build uh, this plate, this guy, uh, I'm going to need to get uh, a pattern and also a stone version of it. So I can put a pattern in there. I'll give you one of these. Cool. Uh, and I've got some cobblestone as well. We're in the part builder. Put some cobblestone in there and that should give me this large stone plate. Hopefully. Um, I've got some clay in my smeltery. Have I? Yes, I have. I emptied all of the other junk out of there, as you can see. Right, so let's take that thing out. This is my smeltery box over here, especially for my smeltery, because I do like my smeltery still. Right, so let's dump some clay in here, uh, and then let's put some bronze in there as well. And then once that's melted, I'll come back. Right, so bronze is done. Let's pop that in there. So one large bronze plate. That should be us uh, ready to go to uh, the next stage, I think. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this item casing, but I know I'm going to need it at some point. So in fact, I'm probably going to need quite a lot of them at some point. So we should be okay. So let's get this stuff down and ready. One like that. One like that. One like that. And then one like that. Oh, it's working. It's got enough power. It's getting more power than it's losing. How long does this take? Is it working? It's like Ghostbusters. So I think this is going to take a while because I don't think that the um, I don't think the RF's getting down the wire quick enough. And if we've got to wait for how long is it? If we've got to wait for two million RF. 2 million RF we need and it's like doing a little bit at a time. So I'll come back once this is done. <laughs> right, it's still not done. Um, I'm going to distract myself probably by making another greenhouse I think because I want to make something that's going to automate my carrot production uh, and maybe my broccoli production as well because uh, I'm fed up of making food. It's a pain in the ass, uh, and I want to get it set up automatically. Plus, I love the greenhouses. I think they're great. So I'm going to make some bits and pieces for my greenhouse. I've got some wood stairs. Uh, I'm going to need more than that though, I think. Uh, so I'm definitely going to need a ton of wood. So give me all this wood and give me some of this wood as well. Um, and then let's see what else we need to make our greenhouse because I can't remember what the recipe was. Basic greenhouse. So I need some more enriched gold. Got that. Reinforced block. Got that. So what's this? Right, okay. So I need some uh, normal cobblestone and I'm going to need nine of those plus my calculator now where did i put my calculator 
Did I put it in my tools? Yeah, I did. I put it in my tools with my scientific calculator because I think I'm going to need both. So, scientific calculator. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Need some iron as well. 9 iron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, nice. And then reinforced iron block. Go. And then enriched gold. Four of those. 1, 2, 3, 4. So handy knowing where everything is, isn't it? So handy not just bumbling around trying to figure out where everything is at all times. Crystallized canola seeds, industrial hemp seeds, and prunate seeds, and peat. Okay, so we can get all that. Let's grab one of those and then chuck it in front of our Dr. Evil moon laser. Nice. And then our machine over here, our actual greenhouse over here, is doing incredibly well. Look at this thing. It's just like got prune prune seeds out of the wazoo over here let's grab a little one of these prune seeds nice and then i also need what is it broccoli seeds hemp seeds i must have some of those yeah got tons of those don't know what to do with these worms either now someone leave me a comment tell me what to do with these worms because i haven't got a clue All right peat should have some peat Oh, this is all Pete. That was the only bit of bog earth that was left. Okay, so that should be the greenhouse sorted out. So we'll get another one of those set up. The basic greenhouse, all this stuff should work perfect. Okay, so got enough stuff. How many things do I need to go in there? Um, last time I used a stack and it didn't use them. In fact, they should still be in there actually. So let's look at this, right? So maybe if I go how many blocks is it from the middle? One, two, three there, and then four. One, two, three, four. Is that going to freak out because it's next to Bog Earth? Who knows? Who knows? But do I want to put my other greenhouse there? Or do I want to put it somewhere else? I don't know. Maybe I'll just move my Bog Earth, actually. One, two, three, there. Is that right? Is that symmetrical? I don't want people to have a fit because it's not symmetrical. There was some guy, actually, um, that was moaning about my windmills. What's the problem? I mean, what's wrong with them? I mean, one's slightly lower than the other. Yes, I'll give you that. But if I do that one, like the other side here, if I put another one there and I do it the same height as that one, then that will be symmetrical. If you draw a line down there, then that's symmetrical, isn't it? Because it's in the middle. It's in the middle, look. It's fine. I don't know what your what, what the big deal is about my windmills not being in the right place. Right, we can take all this stuff out. We don't need that in there. Anymore. And we'll pop it all in there. Ah, need glass. Okay, but we'll get the power set up first. All right, is this going to reach? Are you going to reach? Yeah, you're probably out of range, aren't you? In fact, let's get another pole, like over here. Right, so I still haven't figured out what the bloody hell is wrong with these poles. I mean, I don't know what their major malfunction is, but I don't think it's anything to do with what I'm doing, you know. Um, I think what I'm doing is fine. I think it's the poles problem. Cool, that's set up. Nice. Starting to get a bit dark out here. Excellent. That looks good. So that's got power now, or should have anyway, we'll check. Are you getting power? Doesn't seem to be getting any power. Not enough energy. Well, you haven't got enough energy because you're not taking any power in, my friend. And you're not taking any power in, and I don't know why you're not. Are you too far away? Are you too far away? Because this one's got power. Granted, it is dropping quite... Ah, oh, maybe. Hmm. Let's have a look and see what's going on back at the house. There's tons of RF in here. Maybe this is not outputting. Are you not output into anything? Because you should be draining like quite a lot. Now it's working. I bet that's working now downstairs. What an idiot. I didn't have it set up so it was actually outputting. Ugh. Just sitting there quite sweetly at 10 million RF. And these are starving to death. And just getting powered just from the windmills. So that should be powering these up now. Maybe. Still not sure whether it is. Hope so. But at least the uh, the power's discharging from there now. So uh, we should be.
be getting uh, some power out to our greenhouse. Are you doing anything, greenhouse? Yes, you are. You've got RF. Right, okay. So all you need now is some glass. And then we can get some carrots to cook in. Nice. I feel like I should be doing more than just like making carrots at this stage in the game. It's probably, um, probably not very ambitious of me to be trying to make carrots. Have I got some glass? Please tell me I've got glass. I don't like making glass. I've got 40 glass. That should be plenty. And also, uh, give me a stack of sand. I will burn up some more sand to give me more glass because I know I'm going to need some more. Especially if I'm making advanced greenhouses because they're even bigger. Right, so let's get back out to the greenhouse. Chuck this glass in there. And then hopefully, this greenhouse will build and we can chuck some carrots in it. Right. What's your problem, greenhouse? Greenhouse requires 35 stairs and 8 planks. No, you don't. You didn't even use them all last time. What the fuck, greenhouse? You say you need all that stuff, but you don't. You're just lying. If I give you that, I bet that works. Right, if you don't use all of these goddamn stairs, I'm going to flip out and maybe disconnect you. Now is that enough? You need another two. Now will you work? What? You're just moving the goalpost, greenhouse. You're just changing your mind. You need another 15 stairs now. I'll tell you what, have a whole stack. And now watch it whinge about something else. What's your problem now, greenhouse? Why are you not building? Oh, you are building. Nice. Why is this... Is it taller? Or is it... Why has this happened? This looks very strange. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Um, so we need some water in our greenhouse. Oh, this one's got water in it. That wasn't... That, that didn't happen with the last one, did it? Right, give me some carrots. And let's pop some carrots in there. And then we're going to have infinite carrots forever. Excellent, so that's just going to keep planting our carrots for us. I like that. I do like that style. Okay, let's put a chest there. Otherwise, there's going to be carrots spat all over the place. Nice. Okay. Now, I will not leave this episode until I have my empowerer working properly. So, if I have to sit here for like a week while this bloody thing charges up properly, then so be it. So, let's see whether it's done. Are you done? You're still not done. You're still not done. You son of a bitch. Right, when this is done, I'll be back. Wow, I mean, that took a very long time to actually make that. Uh, I think I was sitting around probably reading about uh, the different ages and stuff for maybe about 20 minutes uh, before that actually was properly built. I also, uh, before I take that off, I also bit the bullet and invested in another windmill. So I've got three up there now. Um, not sure how much. Is this charging? I mean, why is this not taking in power now? Have I got this set up so that it's actually just outputting and not taking in? It's taking in and also hopefully putting out. Is that right? I mean, I can't see any... I mean, that's filling up now. Fine, I'm not quite sure how to use this thing. Maybe someone can leave me a comment and tell me uh, what the different modes are for these, um, for these doodars. Oh, what's this, actually? Is that... Oh, okay. Um, input, output, maybe. Okay, I'll have a fiddle around with that and try and figure it out. So anyway, we have got our next age sorted, so look. Sturdy casing, I think, if I chuck this down on the floor. And pick it up. Entered the age four of farming age. Cool. Now, have we got our trophy? Yes. We have our nice new farming age trophy i wonder what the little spinning symbol is going to be maybe a hoe or maybe a tractor wonder let's have a look which side should we put on let's put it on this side it's a sturdy item casing that looks crap i'm sorry but compared to that that looks rubbish forestry right because this is what this is from isn't it forestry you could have had you could have chosen all sorts of symbols for that. Look at it. That looks brilliant. This turd. Not impressed. 
I might not display that trophy, actually. Yeah, I will. I'm only joking. It looks cool. Right, so we've got another windmill set up. I mean, look at this. This is now symmetrical, okay? So you can stop with your moaning. But this is not symmetrical, because look, it is symmetrical now. I mean, the house is not symmetrical on its own, but, I mean, the windmills are symmetrical, aren't they? Yeah? So we've got our carrots sorted as well. Have we got any carrots out come yet? Why are the carrots not coming out? It's just keeping the carrots in there. That's okay. Okay, no worries. How much steel we got? Got much steel? Got no. Got no coal coke in there, that's why. Bung that in there. Right, okay, so we've got our mass produced steel sorted out. We've got our empower sorted out. We've got, hopefully, our MV capacitor behaving itself and outputting. Uh, we've got another windmill sorted out. We've entered the farming age. What more do you want from a series? I mean, really making some progress now. It feels good, doesn't it? Uh, but I've got to read through the guide a bit more and figure out what we need to do next. I know for entering into uh, the Ender Age, we're going to need a ton, and I mean a shit ton, of RF power and also a ton of oil. Um, because for the machine chassis, you need the carpenter and lots of seed oil, which you should easily squeeze from the seeds in your farms. Well, I've only got two farms, um, so maybe I need to think about maybe getting one of those things. What's it called? What is the thing called a cloche, isn't it? Garden cloche on advanced greenhouse. So maybe we'll look at that in the next episode. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like, please leave a comment. Uh, please tell your friends and subscribe as well at the same time. That would be much appreciated. Myself and Larry will be your best friends forever. Uh, and I will see you next time.